Hi everyone, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and today I'm going to show you how to use one of these. That's right, we're going to pound some nails. We're going to drive some nails today and we're going to use a 2x4, just some regular old construction lumber and we're going to use what's called a 16D Common, also known as a 16 penny nail. Come on in close, let me show you how. So this is what they call a 16D common or a 16 penny nail and when you're framing you want to use a, a 12D or a 16 uh, a D because well it has superior holding ability and, and, it, and they're just easier to drive and a lot has to do with the head. The large head it, you know it, it gives it superior holding ability. Okay, so let me say a few things about how to hold a hammer. You want the hammer to feel comfortable in your hand. Now, the closer your hand is to the end of the handle, the more force and power you will have, but less control. If you slide your hand up toward the top near the head of the hammer, that gives you all the control in the world, but you really don't have a lot of force behind the blows. So what you want to do is you want to grab the handle somewhere in the center where it feels comfortable in your hand. Now let me show you how to drive a nail. Now when you get started you might want to slide your hand closer to the top near the head and just start off with a few taps because you're going to be able to control it you don't have to worry about using a great deal of force once you get started. Then you can slide down and uh, have a little bit more power. So I'm going to start off by just making a few taps. One. Okay, so that's in there. Okay, so I've got it started. Now it's time to really drive the nail with some authority. And how do I do that? There's no power in swinging a hammer with your wrist. You really want to swing it from the elbow and the forearm. That's where the power is. Now you've got to hold a hammer in a way that feels comfortable to you. It may feel comfortable being where I'm situated. Might feel comfortable being a little further down. You might want to slide a little bit more up toward the head, but keep in mind the closer you get to the head of the hammer, the less power you will have. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so I want to show you how to pull a nail. A lot of times you can pull a nail out only out certain um, distance from the wood, and then th then what do you do? You're, you're going to have a hard time. So what you, you want to do in an instance like this, you want a piece place a piece of wood here and use it as like a fulcrum and then that's going to give you more leverage and then you just pull. There you go. So you learned how to use one of these today and you learned how to drive a nail with some authority. You also learned how to pull a nail using another block of wood uh, which always makes the job a lot easier. Well this is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.